So I'm no manga expert. I used to read it regularly in middle school and a little bit here and there in high school until later on when I started just losing interest, you know, life beating you down and all. So recently I was approached by James who uh, said that he had a manga from middle school that he really enjoyed called Real Bout. And I'm like, oh, okay, one of the ones from middle school days, you know, I sort of remember Mars and Dean Angel and uh, Chobits um, and I think Oh My Goddess. And I really enjoyed those, Rama One Half, of course, and Love Hina. And I was like, yeah, I'll give it a shot. And I regretted it. <laughs> Hey everyone, my name is Star and this is GN Invasion, invading your space right now to bring you a new manga review. And this one is called Real Bout High School. So this one was written in the late 90s by Reiji Saiga. Real Bout High School is based off of a light novel. After that, the manga was made and it only contains six volumes. Then the anime came afterwards and the anime is supposed to start um, where the manga left off. I searched around a little bit and as far as I know, I don't think he's done any other notable work since then. Um, so Real Bout has very conflicting feelings from me, but I'll start with our main character, Ryoko who is a self-proclaimed samurai girl of this high school called Damon High and um, her major goal in life is to become a great woman. Vague. And um, she meets up with a guy in who's transferring into the school who just wants to fight, steal people's lunch money, and um, basically go up against the most fiercest competition. She's also in love with the most popular guy in school. Uh, cliche, I know. And uh, he is a sort of a mentor for her. So this school is a little bit different because it is not only a martial arts school, but they have so many clubs that they're constantly fighting for places to practice. So at the beginning of this manga, they're incorporating a new K-fighting system where they can basically fight for um, whatever privileges they're trying to gain. So, you know, instead of breaking up the fights and instead of having it um, very official or set to any date, as long as there is a supervisor there, they can fight whenever they want. Um, although there are tons of unofficial fights going on and no one stops them. So this makes me feel like, you know, if there's no structure to the school, how do how does it function? That's kind of where it like drops the ball. So for our main character, Ryoko, she acts as a vigilante for the school since they're heavily focused in martial arts. Sometimes the weaker students get picked on and she rather stand for justice and truth. Um, she is, I think her fighting style is um, mainly kendo and uh, she also helps out in the school plays as some of the main because she's uh, very attractive and also very talented in fighting. So she is a very likable character um, but her life goals are very vague and that's not that's not terribly unrealistic. She's only 16, so um, I think there are some people that can relate to her. The problem is, is that because she has this very tough girl persona, um, she's, still, she's still trying to figure out uh, how she wants to move forward in life and doesn't really like asking for help. So my problem with this manga is that it has all of the cliches, just all of the cheesiness, and 
I didn't even realize that it was a comedy until I read the end of the second volume. First, I didn't even really want to read the second volume. I made it to the first one. I was about to stop it right there, turn the camera on and just rant. But I decided to give it a chance and I read three of the six volumes that it had. And I don't know, maybe back in the 90s, these weren't so heavily used cliches, but at this point, it, this manga did not survive the test of time. Uh, it's just trying to be too many things at once. It's also, you know, supposed to be very heavily action-packed and has romantic elements as well, but they don't mend together very well. If it was trying to be a comedy, a comedy around the time that's martial art that are, and has romantic elements that I actually do like is Rama One Half, which I did do a review on before. Um, but this, it, it just doesn't feel right. The flow isn't right. Um, the relationship between her, Ryoko, and the popular guy that she has is very good. But it doesn't make sense why she never, you know, came out about her feelings until a very critical moment. And that's another thing I have a problem with with this manga. The critical moments. Critical moments, the end results of a fight, the uh, the result of a question, somebody is pulling you away and wants to tell you something that's deep and emotional. It always seems to cut off right there. And then they go into another scene or segment or they show the end result um, or the, uh, I guess, the consequences of or aftermath later on. And it's okay for it to happen to build up drama once in a while, but it seemed to happen three times, three or four times in each volume. That's a little bit much. At that point, you just feel like shaking the book and just being like, just get to the point. And not only that, there anything that seemed a little bit interesting or controversial seem to be just skirted under the rug. In the end of the first volume, I don't care if this is a spoiler or not, I'm not really recommending this uh, manga. It's the first time the transfer student, uh, I, I, I bet the first week that the transfer student came in, there's a teacher that's in the school that really isn't, uh, I guess, favorable among the students because he believes in tough love and all of that. Well, they, they butt heads, the transfer student and that teacher. And so they decide to actually have a K fight, a K fight between a student and a teacher where it could actually result in injury and all those other things. And you, you know, you should really, there should have been more build up to that because that does seem you should, if this teacher is really a piece of garbage um, through the eyes of the students and this new guy, you know, being so smug and all is going to be him down. They really should have built up to that. And you end up overall, and this is a problem throughout the manga, not really caring about any of the characters. There's no real build up. There's no real backstory. Maybe three volumes wasn't enough for me to, you know, really get a full grasp, but that's halfway through the series. So really, what else can I expect? Other than that, I don't know. I don't recommend it. Um, maybe the anime is better since it takes place after the manga. It seems as if it goes into kind of fantasy, which is like another element that you wouldn't expect. Fantasy for a high school based martial art, comedy, romantic, uh, whatever this is. So, uh, this is out of print. Rio Bell is very worn and aged, uh, the volumes that I have. You can still get them online for dirt cheap now, but I still wouldn't recommend it. There's so many other great ones from that time that you could probably read and have much more fun with. But if you do like the martial art elements, this is a strong female lead. Uh, she has some redeeming qualities to go off of. 
there's nothing special or spectacular about this manga you're not going to really learn anything from it but if you just want to turn your brain off and enjoy some battling here and there the art style isn't that great either that's another thing but that doesn't really uh hurt everyone's opinion about it, whether a manga is good or bad uh it shouldn't really um if the story is good the story is good anyway so that's all i have to say about this I'm not going to read on unless somebody really pushes me to. So if you have any, I guess if you have any comments about this manga, did you read it before? Do you have any suggestions on manga from the 90s that really are good, especially the martial arts one? I'm interested to know. Yeah, put all of that in the comments below. I uh, like the video. If you like what I had to say about it, I'm pretty sure no one liked what I had to say about it because I said it was awful. But, you know, if you like me, maybe. Give me a like <laughs> and subscribe. I'll be here once a week bringing new and different manga. I'm probably going to do something that's new and actually good. Yeah, I think that's a change. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, subscribe, comment. I'll see you guys later and don't forget we're gonna bring out a lot more content very soon. I'm very happy to be a part of GN Invasion and I can't wait to see what this channel grows into. So until next time, peace.